the night it happened, I was in my dorm room, lying in bed, watching television. And I heard the first boom. And normally you hear that when the guys are working on the rig floor. So I didn't pay it no mind. And then I heard another boom. And that's when my television went off. And then I started hearing another boom and it was going one after the other. And finally I opened the room and everything from the ceiling was on the floor. So I crawled over the debris with my life jacket and I made it to the lifeboat to the lifeboat area. Everyone was standing on the deck and everybody kept hollering, why are we not in the lifeboat? Get it, we need to get in the lifeboat. It was just chaos. Finally, they, they let the lifeboat down in the water and it took off. And the moment it took off, the area where it was went up in flame. It blew up. Everybody was so close on that rig. It was it's just unbelievable. I pray for them. I pray for them every day, every day. And then I went to church one Sunday, and the speakers made a booming sound, and I dived down on on the bench in church, and the carpet is blue, so I just freaked out and thought I was on the rig, and I kept telling them I was going to fall, I was going to fall, you know, it was, it was horrible. I've been di diagnosed with post-traumatic stress, and it's, the doctor said, it's going to be a while for me to get over it because I'm going to constantly have these the episodes, I'm going to have them for a while. I would love for it to come to a closure, but I know it's going to be a long time because I know what I go through. It rewinds every day that I wake up out of my bed. I say a prayer and I ask God to give me the strength to keep me moving. It's terrible. I want my life back like it was before this happened.